Pencils down. Pencils down. Down. Pencils Robert. Robert. down. And I don't know if you're going to find out in if you found out yesterday or if it's in Friday's Ramble Radio, but this already counts. Yeah. Ramble 317, 336, 336 yeah. is in the books, technically. We don't, we do not have to contend. 336. 336, done. we do not have to contend. No. That's it. I can end the recording right you now. I can move my mouse cursor up goodbye. here. Goodbye. It. It's over. It's over. And that means it's done. This from here on. Yes. Gravy. Just yes. Gravy. Whip cream now, on the Sunday. This is late news. Late breaking news. Late, well, already broken. Already We're broken. Behind. By We're this time. far behind on the news cycle. But we just got hit with it in the face. Right. Rest ago. in peace, Diamond of Diamond and Silk. And R.I.P. Um, Diamond and Silk. And rest in peace, TCU. <laughs> Both of Jesus. them. Tragic Jesus. Tragic losses. Tragic. Massive losses to, I, I mean, I, you know, I think a lot of, the far right was lamenting dime and lamenting T. I mean, Texas Christian university. Yeah. Big, they big were, blows to both. Pro, I mean, at least Georgia's got a lot of, a lot of the far right are, are go dogs, but it's such a giant university yeah. that there's probably several who are not like that, who are go dogs, go dogs. But I mean, I don't know how we, you know, we're pulling it together. We're gonna. We're. we're gonna, this we're gonna is rally. tough. We're gonna rally. We're gonna try. It's what Diamond would have wanted. It's. I think it's what she would have. It's what Silk wants. Maybe the vaccine is what she would have. I don't know. We're not. Gonna I mean, go that's. There. It's not, not what you wanted. It's what you needed. It maybe. It's, it's not maybe. what you wanted. It's but. not. Oof. It's just Eddie and I. I mean, Cody. I can't even imagine I, what he's. I mean, he's just. I can't. I, I, I at this point, I have yeah. concerns about his health. I uh, yes, we need a wellness check on him. What he's and, going through, and then yes. with this unexpected diamond news, on top of on top of everything else. On I top mean, of, I, he did he did pull out that little nugget of uh, some classified papers in Biden's old office. He was able uh, that that stayed in his office and never I went mean, to his house. Yeah. That Biden cooperated with immediately. Well, though they actually said, "Hey, we found these here. You guys probably want these back. You probably I mean, they, want but, these. These were in my old office." So, uh, and yeah, but uh, um, uh, Cody. I mean, he's you know, he's, God bless him. That's, I don't think that's going to help Cody. You know, and the fact that his boo. Got her shit taken down by Dr. Dre. I, where's Dre? Basically said, "Keep your name out my mouth." Yeah, keep or my out name your, out your fucking mouth. Out your mouth. Keep my music and my name out of your bullshit. Uh, Cody is just. I, I like I said, I have concerns about his health. I we, really do. We almost have to damn make sure he's here next week. I mean, I. I mean. I don't know if a lot of Ramblers know this, but he was sort of a protege of Diamond and Silk. They oh, took him no. under gonna their wings. This. We're going to do this. They took him under their wings <laughs> years ago yeah. and was yeah. and really made him into the spin master that he is today. That was... <laughs> so without Diamond and Silk, I don't know if we have Cody, Cody Viafania. Cody where, so. where, Yeah. It's, it, we, I'm just saying it may be a while before we see Cody again. It might be a minute. It it's, may be a minute. It's going to be... Wow. So can who moving on, I guess. Moving on. Moving on. on. Can we? Can we? We'll try. We'll try. Can we? We'll have to. I mean somehow. Somehow. Uh I'm just happy we got a full ramble, a full week of rambling. Because technically that's it. We did it. We did it. We've rambled. We've done it. All. We can, I mean, out of respect, we could just walk right now. We could respect. just do a, a 45 minute moment of silence. <laughs> we could just sit here in silence <laughs> for 45 minutes. Oh, shit. For TCU. For TCU. God, did, what? I mean, I, did you see a second of it? I saw the second uh, at the end when I saw the score. And I was like, oh. Good thing I didn't I, invest any time into yeah, that. And he, so when I was done twitching, I turned. I I know before I started twitching, I turned yeah. on the game and I saw TCU scramble for a touchdown to make it ten seven. Oh, and yeah, I'm like, oh game. man, game, game. this could be a game. 
We got ourselves a game, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. Yeah, About yeah, yeah. five minutes later, I'm just looking at a score update, and it's like 28-7. I'm like, oh, shit. No, never mind. This uh, Good thing they had a college playoff, so this stuff wouldn't happen. Yes. Thank God there was a playoff system so they could figure out how to put the two best teams in the chain. I mean, who would have thought? Uh, a powerhouse like TC, TCU. Texas Christian University that has um, – I, I I think maybe 40, 40, 1,400 students at least. It's yeah. Um, no, that was good call. Good call, uh, committee putting them in the playoffs. That was really and leaving Michigan and Alabama out. Well, TCU beat Michigan in I the know, playoff. But, yeah, yeah I, yeah, I know, but I'm just saying, like, yeah. having a scenario where a team like TCU, I. You're you're just asking for that national championship game. That's the game you're asking for. Should I? Can I yeah. say something that's probably my? It'll be my least welcome take for probably ninety percent of the college football viewing public. Okay. Should they just stick a Saban team in the championship right no now. matter what? So this never happens. It just a, whatever team Saban at, at is the coaching. Very least. Just, you guys are in. Sorry. You're just at the, in. At the very least, you have a team to root against. You have someone to want to watch lose. It's, at I mean. Very it, le- at the very least, you have a team like, I want this team. I want Nick Saban teams to lose. At the very lose. least, you have right. a team to root against. Right. It's. And who gives a shit about TCU other than TCU alumni? I'm from Dallas, right? Yeah. TCU is right next door in Fort Worth. Yeah. I grew up, even though they were on the super rich side of town and I was on the super not rich side of town, yeah. very close to me was SMU's campus. Yeah. And they're hated rivals. Right. So I wasn't even like, oh, sure, it'd be nice to see TCU. I was like, yeah, fuck them. Like, that's, that, was, that, was my, that was my take. Was, eh, fuck them. Yeah. Um, yeah, this, oof, man. Eek. It's... Eek. Um, Mm. But yes, thank God the college basketball football playoff system has been. This will never. These kind of things don't happen now. They shouldn't even have been allowed in the bracket in the fourteen playoff. It should have. It honestly should have been Alabama because I know TCU beat them. Or wait, who beat Alabama that knocked them out? Alabama never made it. I they never saying, made the who, playoff. They lost a close game there towards the end of the season, which knocked them into like the fifth or sixth spot, which kept yes. them out of the top four. But I like, think Georgia beat them, and I, I don't remember if it was LSU. Another another like mega SEC team, I yeah. think, beat them. I don't know. You just – this you don't want to see a TCU in the national championship because it's not going to go well. You know what's going to happen you know going up going against Georgia. The third, the third <laughs> stringers on Georgia would – Start on TCU. Yes, and and they couldn't even stop the second stringers near. The, I mean, again, they probably were like, "Well, fuck it." But or they, you know what I got, mean? They got the news about Diamond, and we just hardly oh, just they couldn't. couldn't they, they I couldn't mean, pull through. Couldn't, they couldn't, even couldn't focus. Do it. Let me see here. Okay, I think I have. Mm-hmm. Let me see if I can pull up. Because I'm curious now as to what – what, um, yeah. and it was funny. Most college football people were all laughing. Oh, look at Saban being a crybaby. You know what I mean? What's... And, and <laughs> boy, they – all right, so they got – they lost to Tennessee. Yeah. At Tennessee. All right. Uh-huh. I believe Tennessee is SEC, aren't they? Yeah. And yeah, then they right. lost to LSU. At LSU, they lost but to those Tennessee. Are two, those are two SEC away games. Yes, you've lost that. That's and rival. Well, LSU, big rival. Yeah, and I think Tennessee was highly ranked at the time. Yeah, and I think LSU was at least top ten, and they um they lost I know all. TCU those. had one loss, and you got to make the argument. They only had one loss. Alabama had two. I'm like, yeah, but yeah. you got to look at <sighs> look quality at... of wins, quality of teams played. Quality of game that you're good. At. Quality of potential matchups in the playoffs. In the playoffs, yeah, it's. I mean, I know TCU beat. Michigan. I was actually stunned TCU got past Michigan. Like I, mean, I that's was the game, stunned. That's the game we to see was Michigan versus. Well, Georgia. actually, we want to see Michigan versus Ohio State, right? But this, Georgia Michigan Ohio State. Ohio State would have been the best story. The two. Yeah. Hated that would have rivals. been the, the ratings mega get. Yeah. 
but the two rivals, which I think is what at. college football wanted when they bracketed them that way. They were like, dear God, let Please. Ohio state upset Georgia and let Michigan handle business against TCU. But they thought at the very least they're going to get Michigan versus one of those top two versus one Georgia of the either Ohio state. Ohio state or Georgia. They yeah. didn't think TCU was going to, but like, why even throw TCU in there? You're going to get, it's very weird. It's very. Man, it's again, very, this is why I don't give a fuck. But you know what I gave a fuck about? What? Ant Man and the Wasp in Quantum Mania, mm. a new trailer. Ooh, looking dark. Looking dark. Jeez, Louise. Does Ant Man survive this? Does any? It looks like about four hundred Ant Men die in the I mean, trailer. How many Ant Men are going to die from this? It looks All like a them. lot of Ant Men don't make it out of this. Um, man, and. Ooh, we got we got a quick flash of Modoc. Modoc, some Modoc. I, I can't who I, wait. Who I've, I've heard is rumored to be uh, what's his face, like Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket. That's I've heard this. I don't know because he the, got sucked into the quantum realm. I guess in, in the first Ant Man, in the first one. And man, I don't. Ooh, I just I want to see. All I give a fuck about is uh, Kang. I just want to see man. Boy, does it look like we're gonna have all kinds of Kang action, and I'm I'm here for it. I'm here for it, Eddie. I'm here. And for I think it. A, again, another room of this this movie leads right into Kang Dynasty. Like well, this says, is what goes into Kang Dynasty. New Dynasty. It yeah. says it in the little thing in during and the we're during the, the, the right, right there in to Kang Dynasty. Right there, oh, that guy. Right there, that dude. <laughs> right there. <laughs> One of the now in Secret Wars, he gets taken out like a little bitch by Doctor Doom. Yes, he does. But that's a different Secret Wars. That's a, it ain't, that ain't that ain't this. By the way, though, can we talk about how how clean this Secret Wars Kang figure yeah. is? Mm. Still looks good today. Yeah. Still, if they, if Marvel Legends just did this at six inches, yeah. Why no? Who says no? Who's gonna be like, oh, no, I don't know if I want that. Look at that. Look at that. Fucking super villain, super villain, or or Dom, one of the two. Either, He's a Dom or, or, or both. Super villain. And you're you're happy either way, no matter what. You're or down. both. You're you're okay with it, no matter what he's making you. You're do. down. Jesus. But yeah, it looks uh, it looks much darker. I mean, the the first Ant Man trailer. So anytime you see Kang, you're like, okay, that's gonna be a little dark. Yes. But this one seemed like Scott. The first one was like funny. Yeah. With him being called Spider Man, all that kind of shit. Now you're like, wait, does Cassie die? What the fuck is he trying to reverse here? And, and why does he have to make this deal with Ant Man? Yeah. It's, why does Ant Why does Ant Man I mean, why does Ant Man need Kang? Why does Kang need Ant Man? I, I, I can see why Ant Man needs Kang because he wants but to get I'm tied wondering up. how dark it gets. Yeah. You know? Like this. Because he, he have did to... he did lose a big block of time with his yeah. daughter because yes. of the snap. Right. And is that the time he's trying to get back, or does something happen in That's, this film? Yeah. Where he's trying to get someone I'm back. I'm assuming it's that they drop that little seed when he goes, you're so big in, in Endgame. Yeah. That it's like, fuck, he's, he wants that. But how much of for- a deal with the devil are you willing to make over five years? It's right. not, I mean, like, are you willing to unravel time five, itself? For five of, years? For five I, years? There's got to be something. There's, I, I don't there's know. There's got to be we'll a see. little more than that. And then again, why does Kang need Ant-Man for anything? For anything. And then, of course, which the only thing that I'm bummed out about, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like when he tells him the only thing I need is for both of us to not win or both of us to lose. Yeah. That feels like third act dialogue. Yeah. It's but, like that's, sh- but Marvel doesn't do that in their trailers. They miss, they, yeah. they give you the old, uh, you know, bob and weave. They give whip, you the whip, old. Whip, 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 yeah. 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 So I they, wouldn't be surprised if you see that somewhere at the end of the first act. I hope. Were they fight their first yeah. fight? Yeah, yeah. That'd be... I don't know, but we're—I mean, because there were—we were thinking, is this Kang or is this He Who Remains? But this is straight on Kang. You think? Yeah, he doesn't seem as crazy as He Who Remains, does he? No, no. This is he Kang. Does, yeah, yeah. He Who Remains is a little loopy and out there. This guy, this guy knows exactly what he's gonna do, and he. Knows and are we gonna to see it. this dude going around killing other Kang variants? So he is the sole Kang. Oh man. Like, oh, uh, and Modoc. Where does Modoc fit in on that? I know if, if it is the Yellow Jacket, he's got some, you know, revenge plan for Ant Man. But like Jesse said in Predator, payback time. I mean, there's... <laughs> very excited. <laughs> and that's we're like a month away from that too, which is right, better. right. Beginning of Phase Five. <laughs> mm. Mm. I just thought mm. of something. What? 
<laughs> is Predator a better movie? Yeah. <laughs> if when Bill Duke is weeping yeah. over Jesse's body. Yeah. And he's sharing memories. Basically dragging it through the, the jungle because he doesn't want to let it go. Right. And he remember that? And he's like weeping. He's like, remember this is two of them. And he's like sharing. Yeah. He's like right? cuddling with it. It's like, yeah. Like yeah. a baby. <laughs> Would it have been better if Jesse broke character? And as he was, as Bill Duke was saying everything that they did together, right? Body just kind of goes, and remember, I also tried to unionize the workers, but Hogan stooged me to Vince. Like he just starts listing all of his credits. I was the first heel announcer. That was, you know, Vince wanted me just to announce. I said, why don't I do it as a heel? That was my idea. <laughs> like, what if he's just... <laughs> Bill Duke giving their memories. I stole this movie about 20 minutes ago when I said I ain't got time to bleed. That's going to be the line everyone remembers. <laughs> Might as well roll credits right now. Right as well end this thing. What if he just... just... <laughs> Wife swapper. What about him? He just starts going off on Hogan. He just starts ranting on Hogan. <laughs> I was the one who tried to unionize all all the talent, but Hogan stooged me insurance. to Vince. He stole me out. He stooged me to Vince. <laughs> oh, my. Oh. <laughs> does that just completely ruin Predator? Or does it make it better? Or elevate it to or high art. Is it now? <laughs> is, is it, are we, are, if that scene had happened... Am I excited that Criterion is putting Predator out on 4K in February? Oh. Like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, I <laughs> just think there's something. Maybe. Or or in Predator 2 when Danny Glover is in the Predator. When Danny Glover's in the Predator spaceship. Right. And he sees Jesse Ventura's skull. Right. On the wall, and then he starts hearing the voice of Jesse Ventura airing more grievances. <laughs> and the predators are like, "Here, take the skull and get it the fuck out of the spaceship because it won't stop talking." Piper just came back for coke money. Anytime Piper came out of retirement, he just ran out of coke money. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck? Is They're like, "Take this and go, <laughs> Here, please, please take this." He won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Suburban Commando was my script. <laughs> I wrote that. That's wrote Hogan that. owes that was... me big time for that one. <laughs> oh fuck! Arnold only brought me back for a bit part in Running Man because he was too nervous I'd steal the film like I did Predator. <laughs> like, okay, all right, enough. Okay. But I refuse to be killed off in that film. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm the fitness instructor and I'm going to stay that. <laughs> was that Running Man or was that Total Recall where he was a fitness no, it was guy? Running Man. That was Running Man. Yeah, that's right. That where he, he lived in Running Man. He left, right? That's he's like, right. He's, he's like, like, I'm, I'm out. out for this. I'm out. <laughs> I wonder if he was going to die. But his ego was like, nope, you're not going to kill me on screen. And kill he's Jesse just... once, shame on me. Kill Jesse twice. <laughs> shame on you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hogan, I am invented the skullet. Hogan was the only one. Okay, man, Jesus. All right, Jess. Superstar <laughs> Billy Graham took the feather boa from me. From me? I was the one who had the feather boa. <laughs> oh fuck oh sh i was the first guy to break a sleeper hold by having my arm drop and then stop and start shaking i was like okay jesse all right oh fuck oh jesus christ it was the big ropes red white and blue <laughs> That was my idea. I thought we're going to be patriotic, Vince. Let's do it. It's... Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. 
Oh. oh no! I think I lost you, Eddie. Are you there? Eddie, you're frozen. Oh no. Oh no. What is this ramble in, in trouble? We're gonna give Eddie well, we have no choice. But to give Eddie, let me I'm gonna text him. Gang, I'm te I think we Eddie Pence is but look at that. Frozen in a giant smile, which is at least that's a, that's a good thing. At least that's a good thing. He's frozen with a big smile. Oh no. All right, let's see. What do we do? Let's see. All right. Um Let me see. Hold on one second. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Hey, you're back. <sighs> you were frozen in a beautiful smile. Oh, I bet I was. Are I you hardwired or are you going Wi Fi? I'm Wi Fi. I can't, Shit. I don't have a cord long enough to go from the router into this room. God damn. That's the, the, there it thing. is. I'll and just they, edit that part out. If you want, I might not. Okay, you leave. It me. was just me going like, Eddie, Eddie. And I texted you, you're frozen. Oh, oh man, so. I have to go hardwired sometimes. It sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the life of uh, hey, look, Eddie. It's you know, it's not easy doing this. Whatever it takes to get the ramble into people's ear holes every day, we do, we, we, do we, do we do it. We do it. Holy shit! Twenty one minutes and oh! twenty nine seconds. Oh! If Cody were here, I'd say hit the music. But he's not. But he's not. So if you know the words at home, company, everybody, come on. Always on the run. Destiny is a rising sun. Ring the bell, Eddie. You got this, right? Uh, not yet. I was born. Six gun in my hand. Uh, I got it. Behind a gun. I make my final stand. That's why they call me. Bum, bum, bum. Bad company. And I can't deny. Wait a minute. Why was that never a stable? Bad, bad company. Till the day I die. Why couldn't, couldn't that have been a stable in wrestling? Bad company. And out they Should've come. Should have Right? Been. I, who hmm. doesn't? Shit, like a bunch of anti-heroes, just like, no, you know what I mean? Company in, like, uh, uh, USWA, or? There had to have been. There had to have been there somewhere. There had to have been. Anyway, let's, oh, we got to, by the way, I don't know if you know this, Eddie, but we have an email, ramble at the ramblepod.com. We do. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a Twitter account, at podcast ramble one Instagram at podcast ramble. We have our Tee Public page. Nice. 133, we're still, look, we're kind of becoming beggars and choosers here. We're at 133 five-star ratings. We can do uh -huh. better. We can. And, and, we can. and, and, and uh, Terra Natrix is still on top. Come on. Come on. Come on. Mm. Let's get a new Come review. On, Terra Natrix. You're um, the by the way, Brian Hill, uh, this might be contentious. You ready? The Hawks fan. He's happy. The Hawks are in the playoffs. Yeah, they're in the playoffs. Greetings, fellow Ramblers. This is Brian Hill, a.k.a. Right. Seahawk, Seahawks fan 87. There you go. I just want to address the Rambler who was calling me out for the positive review, whatever your name is, that I don't care for anyways. Whoa. I did the three-peat for the Ramble. Not for me, because oh. I believe in this show, and they deserve every five-star rating. Sorry you haven't gone as a two-time champ. This show has helped me through a lot in my life. And, Eddie, I won't make the live show because I'm going to a super cross race at Angel Stadium that night. It's a tradition for me and my dad's nope. oldest daughter gotta but do anyways, it gotta do it that's all i want to say and i want to start a rumble if you're just jealous that i've left a positive review three times three times anyway three times. how about them seahawks oh and if you guys like halloween and conventions there's one at may in pomona fairgrounds in may, and i may be dressed there if you want to come oh. check it out i've met eddie at a haunt from todd at castle park okay love you guys bye all right it wasn't it yeah. It wasn't as shots fired to Snides as I thought it was going to be. It was a very, no, no, it no, was a polite no, no. defense okay. of what he did. A, pol yes. a, a, a very, pol a, a somewhat polite defense of his actions. Oh, polite. It's like, this is what I did. I love this show. Right. Suck it. I did a little it bit them. of a suck it there at the end. A little bit of a suck it. But, but polite. it's <laughs> a polite suck. Gemma. Gems. 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 From the Talking Codswallop podcast. Hi, Jerry. Eddie May 
be Cody and Rambo. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I know. I'm refu- Look, Cody said it's it's not a good week. It's I'm refusing to say Happy New Year anymore. Oh, wait, shit, I failed. LOL, I've been sick of saying that since January 1st. Yes, I'm the Scrooge of New Year's. Jerry, hope the treatment is going well. Glad to hear you over your head cold. Thank you. Honestly, I think anything else. Honestly, I don't think anything else needs to be thrown at you now. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. yeah but yeah. hey, I'll take it. It's fine. Um, Eddie, Jesus, it's already time for the Hall of Fame hat. Oh, okay. Game show hosts, can you do this? Did you have this ready? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. We have the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. The Hall of Fame goes to Alex. Your mother's a whore, Trebek. You can't replace him. They replace Bob Barker, but he gets honorable mention. Wow. Yeah. All right. I mean, it's hard to argue with that. It is. Hard to argue with that. The trip. The Trebs. Trebs. Gemma. Gems. Gems. Now I have to go with someone from the British game show genre. I know for a fact that Michael Barrymore will not be on the hat. Why not Barrymore? I hear you cry. Eddie, are you okay that she didn't put Michael Barrymore on that? Mm, I'm okay. <laughs> He only had drug fueled gay, no issue with the gay part, orgies, which resulted in him killing someone. Oh God! That, why so he, shouldn't that put him in? That should put him over the top, over the top of everybody. So yeah, not him. I don't. There's also Bruce Forsyth, who had a catchy saying of "Nice to see you, see you nice," but he always came across as a bit creepy to me. So the man of the hour and the hat of game show host goes to Noel Edmonds. He's a legend. I bet you didn't think you get all that explanation. I, I like it. We need to know. I like this it, stuff. but that doesn't. You've done nothing but prove my point even more. That Michael Barrymore needs to be in this. He killed a man. Jesus. He Cypress. was evil on and off screen. Off. Here is something you can't understand. How I could just kill a man? Look at that shit. Mm. Anthony Flores, Jerry, Eddie, probably not Cody, mi gente. Hi, fellas. This email is coming in super late because it's a busy weekend. I hope it makes it in. It did. Yeah. Thanks to the great, late, great Caponis. I've made great friends with Retro Rocha friend. Life begins at 8 bit. Life begins at 8 bit's a great person. I started writing this email while helping them pull off a 12 hour charity stream. Shout out to the man, Joe Capone. Woo. Fuck yeah. Let's get down to brass tacks. I'm coming for that title, Snides. Seahawks fans, nice. what you gonna fucking do? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. This week's hat is an easy one. That's two now, Eddie. Alex fucking Trebek. The man was a master at his craft. He did it with poise and grace that dirty ass Sajak could only hope to achieve. Richard Dawson, that man was too busy non consensually grabbing titties on live TV. Alex did it for, a, for decades, and he did it best. Guys, in honor of the Royal Rumble, you have to fill out the game show host Rumble contestants, and who wins? Oh, man. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Should we do this soon? We may have to. A game show host Royal Rumble? We may have to. We And we pick who comes in at what number? Maybe. All that? I mean, it's, We may have to. I think Barker comes in first. Really? That's And he's the one who either pulls a flare or lasts like 30 minutes. You know, I don't know. I... Mm. I, I'm just saying. I All right. um All right. Zach Dollum. Happy New Year. Dolls. Zach's Dolls. Zach. Dolls. Lems. 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 Dolls. Zach. Happy New Year's, Jerry, Eddie, Schrodinger's Cody. He's both on the episode and not in the episode until it's released. And all my fellow Ramblers and James apologizing for having been such a passive Rambler in 2022. But I'm going to attempt to be more active in the new year. Hope everyone had a fantastic holiday season and is looking forward to bigger and better things in 2023. On to the lists. Hall of Fame had I got to go with Bob Barker. Trebek is by far my personal favorite, but Mike McDonald is also my favorite hockey player. And I still recognize that Wayne Gretzky is the great one. Barker is the Gretzky of the game show world. And Zach didn't say this, but I'm, didn't he boink like half the uh, Price is Right girls? I too? think, he, you know, Bob's uh, Bar Barker's beauties. The Barker's beauties. He, yeah, he, uh, he, yeah, he was, he was uh, getting He's some on that Plinko machine, if you know what I'm talking about, huh? On that Plinko table. He was, woo, <laughs> woo oh, dee, oh, dee, oh, he was, oof. These are all great entrants, but I, Eddie, I had to go. I, I had to go Richard Dawson. Same. I yeah. I mean, Same. I the it look. Yes, Same. he was he was creepy with the women. To me, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna deny that he was a little bit of a creep. Yeah, but is there our youth? Let's go back. 
I don't remember ever as a child more tense moments in television history than when the fucking family needed that answer to have like at least 35 or more. Yeah. And he's like, survey. And he does the pause. God it damn. So it was so smooth. Yes. And he, 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 he knew when to draw out moments. Like he yes. knew when you needed moments. It, it wasn't it wasn't done with editing, it wasn't done in post. No. He knew in the moment it. when I have to drag this moment out. It and was there it. his family feud, there was nothing more tense than oh god, he could bring it. And, and just to be it was basically like he was entertaining in his living room. Yes. That's how smooth he was. He was smooth as shit. And look, Schwarzenegger's greatest villain? Yeah, by far. I mean, By far. Short... Only in a the, rerun. The By best far. the best comeback to I'll be back ever. The only comeback to I'll be back. The ever. only thing it that that dropped the, the 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 commando was stupid. Yeah, John, I'll be waiting. Fuck that. Nobody no, cares. No, 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 no. Bennett. No, Bennett. No. You're no, it's only in reruns, pal. Only in a rerun. Oh! 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 Now, you can you can make the, the the argument okay Barker and Trebek had longer runs right they, they did played, have longer runs they, they had, played yeah. they had the long career yes Tre they did Dawson burned bright and short but, but I man think the hottest, I think the, the hottest. brightest the he brightest. was the Gail Sayers of this group and give me his creepy smooching over Sajak really and mourning diamond no and silk the note card with a pinky up better. Oh. Oh, the way he would hold that oh, pinky up. Oh. Oh. He and just now, command. Honorable command. mention goes to Gene Rayburn at match game. Honorable mention goes uh. to Gene Rayburn because that's where Dawson started as a celebrity contest, celebrity yeah. guest all the time. Yeah. And Dawson was good then, too. Yes, he was. Especially when he matched with the contestant. And he would go, oh, gee, I, I'm sorry. And then I said the same thing. And I was oh. like, oh. He knew. He knew how to he work knew. a crowd. He knew how to work an audience more than any of the other ones. I'm going to set you at 337. All right. What? <laughs> what KISS member goes into the hall? Of <laughs> Is it Vinnie Vincent? Is it Sid Simmons? The star? Is it the demon? Is it the star child? Is it the space ace? Is it the beast? Is it is it car? I I mean, all right. <laughs> I'm not making you pick three songs or five albums. That would be tough. <laughs> I need you to pick one. I, one. I, I can figure it out. All right, I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> Hardest one you've ever had to do? This is right. This is yeah. I thought the boy band thing was tough. But this tougher. might be this might be tougher. tougher. This might be tougher. What kiss member goes on the hat? Uh, it's open, close, and encore time. Outcast, the American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. You open with so fresh, so clean. You close with Rosa Parks. You encore with Hey Ya. Not bad. Yeah. Gemma from the Talking Cotswold podcast. She also opens with so fresh, so clean. You close with Miss Jackson. Woo! I am for real. Encore. It has to be the first song I heard by them. Hey, yeah, to leave the crowd bouncing on their way out the door. Anthony Flores. This was a toughy one for sure. Outcast are high on my all time list. The night starts when the lights go down and the pitch black. You hear is the tickling of the ivories. It leads into roses. Ooh. So, oh, no, you like to think your shit don't stink. They close with a medley of Atlians, Aquamani, Rosa Parks, and Mrs. Jackson cheating. I know. The fellas can't leave the crowd without playing one of the biggest hits. They encore with Hey Ya and leave the crowd on a high note. Zachary Dollum. You open with B.O.B. Bombs over Baghdad. You close with So Fresh, So Clean. You encore with Miss Jackson. Eddie. Two, my opener, nobody had, and I'm very okay. disappointed. Okay, what? I don't see how you don't open the show, the lights go out, you hear the bass, and then boom, boom, boom. 
and then ready for action. Come on. I like the way you move. But bump. I like the way you woo. Then you close with hey uh you uh-huh. encore with Miss Jackson. Come on, what else could it be but Miss Jackson at the end? Eddie, you're open close encore. So I open with bombs over Baghdad. Oh, B O B. I close with Miss Jackson and I encore with hey y'all. Oh, that's a great that's just, one too. That's just me. It's a great show too. That's just me. The American Dream, Dustin Jake. We're going to read book. Oh, by the way, Ramble 336. We teased it at the beginning. Bad Company. What do they open, close, and encore with? Bad Company. The band Bad Company. What's their OCE? Bad Company. There we go. Um, reading books, playing video games. Okay. Bring your pussy over here. We're reading books and Bring playing your pussy games. Over here. Right here, Dustin games. Jacobs, yeah. The American Dream. He's reading Whoops, I'm Awesome by uh, Melissa Villasenor. That's a self-help book meets adult art book. Super okay. talented human that deals with the dark cloud that follows stand-ups around. Her dream was SNL. After six years, she finally got some love on the show, but then bailed due to mental health. Insightful read. She couldn't have been lovelier at the book signing. I uh. don't know if I've met a nicer comic. Remember back when she was at the store in the days? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I that's met right anyone. after her AGT day, right? Her yeah, AGT I think it was. And, and by talent. the way, I know it's silly, but to, you know, I sound like somebody's uncle. But goddamn, her impersonations were fucking insane. Yeah, like it when I was, first saw her, America, when I first saw her on America's Got Talent, I'm like, oh, she's got to go to SNL. Like she has to be on SNL. She has to be on SNL. Yeah, she and and, and when she and when she got on SNL, they didn't use her. I was like, how nope. are you not using her? How are you not using her all to these do everything right now? Like, it, yeah. she was amazing. Yeah, she she and One of I, the biggest misuses of talent on that show. Those ever been. for fucking ever. And yeah. then Dustin says, Carvey and Murphy are really the only two stand-ups that I felt flourished in that SNL environment. What do you two think? I agree, but I'm throwing Kevin Nealon and Dennis Miller into that mix as well. As far as just stand-up. Guys Pure who were stand-ups. stand-ups before they went to SNL. Was David Spade a stand-up before he went to SNL? Yeah, he was, yeah, too. Yeah, he was. Yep, he was, yep. too. So was Sandler. Um, yeah, Sandler Chris, was. I mean, Chris Rock. I mean, uh, but, yeah, I mean, Chris Rock had some great moments on SNL. I don't think he flourished like Murphy did on SNL. No, I he mean, when Murphy, of, when Murphy was on SNL, he was, like, the he was the show. prodigy. He was he the was show. The sh- yeah, and Carvey was very similar. But I think Dennis Miller carried them. In some lean years, I remember he would even joke like about like this is the the news, like this is the only thing people tune in for anymore. You know, like well, he, he was that bridge between like after Eddie Murphy when they had like it was like Joe Piscopo and like oh yeah, the, the lean uh, years, the lean years before they got into like the year that you know Rock's cast was like David Spade and Dana Carvey and yeah, Kevin Nealon and like like that was the Eddie, Phil Hartman, Phil Hartman, like, like that yeah. was the monster cast. Yeah, so Dan Hooks. Yeah, like Rock was good, but he you couldn't shine in that group because they were such a great ensemble cast. They're tremendous. I it's, whereas like Eddie Murphy's group, it was Eddie Murphy and everybody else. Yeah, it's I I yeah I I think I would. I'm Billy I th- Crystal. He was a comedian. Billy Crystal was fucked, but he was on SNL for like five minutes. Yeah, that was the only problem. He yeah. you know, but I mean, goddamn, he was the fucking skyrocket. You yeah. know, um. Crystal was another one. There, I mean, there's a million. But like more that, that the original forget. cast from SNL, they were all like those Second City like yes, sketch yeah. players. They, like they, they were I used mean, to doing it. I mean, Garrett Morris was a stand-up comic, right? I believe Garrett a Morris little was a bit. Comic. Yeah, yep. I don't really know how many stand-up stand-ups. I'm trying to like that. We're just prime. I mean, obviously Colin Quinn, you know. Yeah. Uh, but just stand-up stand-ups. There haven't been too many. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's interesting. They've always had a tough time finding their niche on that show because the stand-up the yeah the, the job of a stand-up comedian is to be get last by yourself and not as an ensemble. Not the ensemble. So they yeah, usually so. throw them like on segments on like the the weekend update where they're doing a character and then they try to which slowly is move I them think I think to catches. to Dustin's point that's probably why you have to say Carvey and Murphy were the two stand-ups who flourished the most on the but I think Nealon did pretty good as a team player too for yeah. not being for being just a stand-up. But like Carvey did so many characters and impressions and stuff like that, you could flourish in that environment. Where someone like Chris Rock Man. was just—he was just funny, and he it wasn't... was still pretty impressive that he lasted as that he had the. Right. I mean, he got famous because of SNL, right? You but know, like as as a stand-up comedian, the stuff the the abilities you use as a stand-up comic aren't, aren't the same ones that Dana Carvey right. would necessarily use that when he was on, on SNL. SNL. In his heyday. Yeah, 
Yeah, he was true. doing George Bush and Church Lady, which you really wouldn't do those so much in a stand -up on stage. Yeah. yeah, I remember I saw them on tour when I was a kid. It was Kevin Nealon opened. Yeah, Dana Carvey was the middle, and Miller was a headliner. It's fucking unbelievable. Yeah, it was just, and then like I was a little kid, I didn't really get half. I mean, Carvey was my favorite because, like you said. He was easier to understand as a kid. He had all the breakout characters on that. He just he started doing characters and it was funny. And but dude, Dennis Miller got up there, and even though I didn't really get half his jokes, you just knew you were seeing a a master at their craft. Yeah. You like I mean the fact that Carvey, I remember destroyed, but yeah. no Miller was just another as yeah. as a stand up was just like, oh shit. Well, that's what he was. I mean, he was yeah. always a stand up yeah. comedian where Carvey was he did stand up, but his strengths were elsewhere. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, it was, uh, man. Um, Anthony Flores, this week I'm still playing Far Cry 6. I've started Star Ocean First Departure R, a remaster on the of the original SNES RPG. It's pretty damn rad. Also started playing Cyberpunk 2077. I love that game. I don't know why it was so maligned. Grabbed it for 25 bucks. It's a much, much, much better game than, than what I purchased and it came out. I beat it, got a full refund. Lots of new welcome features. Zach Dollum, read books, playing video games. I'm racking, wrapping up The Scarlet Gospels by Clive Barker. And fellow Ramblers, it is fucked up. All right. Starting the Expanse okay. series with Leviathan Wakes after waiting 10 years and counting for the Winds of Winter. I, swear, I swore I wouldn't start another sci-fi fantasy book series until it was finished. And the final volume of the Expanse came out last, so I'm going to finally diving into what I've been told is one of the best sci-fi series of all time. Haven't been gaming much lately, just playing a little FIFA here and there. All right. Well, not bad. All right. Um, I, I, I'm i going to have to, when that Winds of Winter comes out, I'm going to have to go reread all the fucking other Game of Thrones book because I already forgot 90% of what fucking happened. It's been so fucking long. <laughs> and I didn't really, buy, I mean, the HBO show, I was like, man, whatever. I It was, okay, everyone, it's the greatest thing. Well, have you never seen Blood and Tits before? These fucking idiots acting like it's a fucking the greatest thing ever. It's just blood. Anyway, all right, so, but <laughs> it was, um, <laughs> it was still good. It wasn't. It got shitty quick. I thought yeah. the show. There, that's my take. That's it. Um, finished. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles three. Really good shit, man. Nice. Really good shit. I very much enjoyed it. Have a lot of nice. questions. It it ver at the end. It's like it kind of ties in a wee bit to the first two, and then at the end, you're like, what the fuck? It really goes. It I, anyway. Good shit. Right. Still playing through Elden Ring, God of War, Ragnarok. Still playing Zelda 2 again for research purposes. Yeah. you re And I'm reading Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Have you nice. ever read this book? I read it once, long time ago. Long time Fuck, ago. it's still so fucking funny. I got to probably reread it. I haven't read it in so long. You got to get your boy on that. We got to get one for Colton. He's yeah. he's right around the age to really start appreciating it. Appreciating, appreciating it. Yeah. And it's, oh, God, so fucking funny. But there you go. You reading or playing anything, my man? Uh, we're working through Midnight Suns right now, oh, Colton and I yeah. are, because they yeah. got that for uh, Christmas. So we, yeah. we're doing that, and then we're going back, and we're playing Arkham Asylum, and then yeah. we're going to do, we're almost done with that, and we're going to go into Arkham City before we go into Gotham mm. Knights. So we're going to yeah. try to go through that whole way. Yeah, I would watch out with Arkham City. I've played it before. I played it a long time ago. I liked it better than Arkham. Uh, what was it? Uh, not or Gotham Knight. What was the last one they did? Go Arkham Knight? Whichever. The wait, no, no, the, no. The, the first were two were great. Thing. Yeah. The first was, two were great. It was Arkham Asylum, Arkham City. No, Arkham, Arkham City's Origin. great. Arkham, whichever one you're in the Batmobile was fucking boring as shit. That was the last one. That was, I think, Arkham Knight. That was Arkham. That's the one I was like. Okay. That's when uh, what, Todd came back, right? It was Todd, who, who yeah, was I think the Robin so. that he I think died. that was the one with Hush. I think I don't remember. He came or back with, yeah, he, he was the Red Hood or whatever. Right. Or, uh, I think that, and that was the one that had the Batmobile, and it know. played like the Atari tank combat game. I was like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. The first but three, I like. City it was, was great. It was yeah. Asylum City, and then Origin with okay, yes, and then they were they fine. Went. The other yeah. one, the fourth one, sucked. So I'm not to me, it peaked. At, it, it peaked after City. Peak City was yeah. the peak. I thought. Yeah, yeah. Arkham City was like, oh shit. Yeah. Arkham City was my favorite of them. The second one. Yeah, it's it's anyway. 
So, all right, it, Eddie, it's the time of the show where we rank the top five. I, uh, I, uh, I, uh, oh. Okay. The American Dream does Star Trek movies. Was this easy or tough for you? Uh, easy, but it's probably not a popular list. All right, I'm ready. The American Dream, Dustin Jacobs. I've only seen one Next Generation film, and it sucks. Generations. So I'm sticking with the OGs. He goes The Motion Picture, number five. Search for Spock, number four. The Undiscovered Country, number three. The Voyage Home, number two. And number one, The Wrath of Khan. Gemma from the Talking Codswall podcast. Gem, sadly, I'm going to have to pass on this one. I don't know if about the Star Trek franchise to give an honest answer. When I heard you say Star Trek films, I thought you were joking. I didn't realize there was any films. I only knew the television shows. Jeez, As always, Gem. sending all my love to you. Jeez. And saving a little for my dog. He's a badass fuck. Yeah, Gems. All the love to your doggy. Yeah. P.S. I'm still the European champion. All right. We have to believe it. We can't. We have to believe it. <laughs> no way to deny it. Yeah, my top five Star Trek movies from Anthony Flores. Fuck all the J.J. Abrams ones. Fuck okay. that hack in general. Okay. Wow, man. Wow, shots fired. Number five, who cares? The rest are meh after this list. Number four, oh. Generations, because just how much better Picard is in that gas bag Kirk. Wow. Oh, oh Riker is a superior version of Kirk, by the way. Just firing shots all over the place. All over. Number just. three, First not, content. Not even aiming. Just, not even aiming. Just, just howitzer spray, letting loose. Spray in the room down. Spray gunning. <laughs> the, William <laughs> Shatner. Number two, Star Trek, The Voyage Home. And number one, The Wrath of Khan. He tasks me. Before I take my leave, I throw this out there for a possible hat or top five. Okay. Most hated sports team. Ooh. We're in playoff time. And Eddie, Ooh. it's a shame the commander's commandered. Hopefully, you get Derek Carr, a man wasted by the Raiders and that dolt with the bad haircut. Jerry, <laughs> we can mourn when Tom Brady and his under 500 squad knock our boys out. We know the story, and I hope I'm wrong. I Same. Until next time, Ramblers. Same, Anthony. Same. Uh, Zach Dollum. He goes number five, The Voyage Home. Okay. It's his number four is number six the undiscovered country okay his number three is first contact okay. his number two is the jj first one the 2009 reboot okay. and his number one the wrath of Khan. that's it for me happy new year all my fellow ramblers and james fight jerry fight thank you fuck cancer go stars fuck yeah until next time i'm zach dollam and you're not um guys this was, this was tough for me buddy mm. all right my number my mm. my number five i had this was tough. I, it's tough. I had to go part four of the voyage home. What was your number five? My number five was uh, first contact. First contact. Great one. Star Trek uh, first contact. I thought my that was a good one. This is a really good one. My number four was the first J.J. Abrams one. Sorry, Anthony oh. Flores. I enjoyed I You know what? Can I be controversial? See, be controversial. I liked, I liked all of the, the ones he did. I even liked... The, from darkness, everybody got mad at. I didn't. One, I didn't the know. They just the one what was the one where they just wanted the excuse to play Beastie Boys. That was the that third was one, part right? three. That was the third one. They I didn't mind that plot. one either. They erected a whole plot just so they could play. Beastie just so they could play the Beastie Boys. And fucking Kirk's riding around on a motorcycle uh, in <laughs> some other planet. I was down with that one too. But I, I really, I, I liked the from darkness or whatever into darkness that. The one where Benedict Cumberbatch was con, and everyone's like, "Get the scope!" I I liked it. Yeah, and they just they just they just flipped everything as from Wrath of Khan. It was great when when Spock goes con. Yeah. Uh, come on, that was that was great seeing Kirk Spock dies, do that. He yells con con. It was fucking great. Now nothing is gonna be con. <laughs> from you know <laughs> listen to me con you run sucker nothing is gonna beat that but uh my number four eddie was the yeah. jj what was your number four uh it's tough it's it's uh -oh. i'm gonna go oh, no. i'm gonna go mm, i might go final frontier just because it's the <laughs> just because the scientology, it's, it's fuck the scientology you? fuck you and that for that reason alone, it puts it into the top five. Better than first contact. <laughs> Better than first contact. Just because of the balls on William Shatner <laughs> to take a to take a uh, just a blatant shot at Scientology. And and yeah, and also be like, I could direct a movie. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you knew that was there, but but for him to just go, hey, Scientology, fuck you, fuck you. 
Uh, my number three was your number five. I go first contact. Wow, well, good, good. What was your number three? My number three was uh, Search for Spock. Great one. That made my honorable mention. Oh, okay. My number two, Undiscovered Country. Oh, that's a, that would be, I would put that in honorable mentions. I guess I, if I had to do an honorable mention, it would be Undiscovered yeah, Country. Yeah, yeah. What was your number two? Uh, number two is Voyage Home. Voyage Home, great one. Save the whales, baby. Save the my whales. number one, what There'll else could be? There'll be whales here. Wrath of Khan. How could it not be Wrath of Khan? Wrath of Khan, number one. How Wrath could it not? But what else is there? How is it not Wrath of Khan? It's just, oh. Not only think, just one of the, the greatest Star Trek movie, one of the best sci-fi movies. Sci-fi movies ever. ever made. Coming right up, Khan. When he fucking lowers the <laughs> shields, all that shit. Fine-ass Kirstie Alley, may oh. she rest in peace. With hell's last breath. I spit that deal. I spit that deal. My, oh, oh, just quoting Shakespeare twenty four seven. Fucking a, just, just a fucking rippling chest. Just that oh big man, Montalban, man. motherfucker. Montalban's right big fucking manly pecs. Right, just right there. Fuck. All wrinkly and saggy here, but just yes, pecs. How scared are you with those little fucking worms that crawl over the ear? Worm things. Fuck Woo. me. I didn't want nothing to do with that. I'll no, tell sir. you that right now. Ramble 337, Eddie. Street Fighter characters. Mm -hmm. Video game, not Van Damme movie. Okay. Any from the video games. So okay. we got top five Street Fighter characters. Got it. What would Bad Company open, close, and encore with in your personal favorite? What <laughs> member of KISS Ugh. is on the Hall of Fame hat? Ugh. There we go. All right. we You know where to find us. Please find us. Email us. All that good shit. We're, I'm hoping... Chemo will be okay by the next weekend, so we can go ahead and get this to you on time. Fingers crossed. We love you all. Stay safe out there. Don't make a fuck out of us. We'll see you Friday for yeah. a Ramble Radio. Take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.